Hey. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. What's I just on? wanted to ask you a couple questions today. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm now. <laughs> All right. First one. What's your favorite time of day? Um, probably like the morning. Good. Yeah. What's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness, um, I'm addicted to my phone. What's your biggest strength? Um, I'm a hard worker. Okay. What's the biggest learning experience you've had? Honestly, the past couple years with my like relationship with the Lord, it's been really growing. Okay. What makes you angry? When people are mean to random people for like no valid reason at all. That's valid. Like mean to strangers, mm. like for what, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what are you most excited about these days? Um, traveling. All summer long. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Um, hey car. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't, I'm not like a words of affirmation person, so I don't remember compliments very often. But Jess, Jessa, told me the other day um, that I'm a life giving person. That's which a good one. Is like that one stuck with me. When are you the most inspired? inspired probably when I'm around other people who do the same job as me um, I just feel like it's really like motivating inspirational all of it love it Ooh, I'm gonna sit on this rock sweet or savory oh it depends on my mood I really like both what's the priciest thing you've ever splurged on I would say like any Apple products like my MacBook, mm, my yeah, iPad, sure. like literally anything from that Apple store. What makes you smile the most? Um, probably hanging out with my friends. My friends make me laugh. That's a good one. Yeah. What's one thing people don't know about you? I really don't feel like there's a lot that people don't know about me. I pretty much put everything out there, so I don't know. Heels or flats or sneakers? Honestly, I would say I'm really into platforms right now, which it wasn't an option, but it's kind of a combo between heels and flats. It yeah. gives you height, but they're still like flats, so. What are three things you can't live without? Three things I can't live without? <laughs> my phone, um, my mom, and Jesus. Wow, that was really good. Yeah, not to be like cliche, but like, <clears throat> what like what did you expect? No, right. You know? yeah. Window or aisle seat? I feel like I'm usually the person that takes the middle seat because I don't really care. So like when I'm with my friends, whichever one they want, I usually sit in the middle. That's I don't really have super sweet of you. Thank you. What's your current TV character obsession? TV character obsession? <sighs> I don't really watch TV shows that Ever. much. I usually just watch like YouTubers. I'm so Gen Z. Um, my favorite YouTuber has always been and probably will always be Cody Ko. Okay. Leather or lace? Literally neither. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your life? Um. Probably, what's coming to the top of my head is probably like skydiving. And like when I was in Utah with some friends, just like climbing big rocks. Okay, big rocks? Yeah, I don't know. How would okay, you define <laughs> your, how would you define yourself in three words? Oh, that's a yikes. You wanna help me with that one? Um, I would say you're inspirational. Oh. You're helpful and you're oh. caring. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Even though I just met you on the street. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said, mm, yeah. <laughs> What's your current favorite piece piece of clothing you own? Piece of clothes? These overalls. I'm obsessed with they overalls right now. They look pretty darn toot and cute, I they're would say. They're from um, Urban Outfitters okay. and I'll link them below if anybody, I think they're on sale right now. If anybody oh. wants okay. some cutie little overalls. 
What's a must-have clothing item everyone should own? Um, I feel like the jeans that you're wearing right now from Grey Bandit. Here, I'll show them That's to you guys. Randall facts. They're yeah. so good. They're so comfortable and so flattering. I literally wear them like all the time, and so does Una. She <laughs> wears them. I steal them all every the every once in a while. Yeah. Um, what's inspiring you in life right now? I feel like a lot of my like friends that are influencers, I take a lot of inspiration from. Welcome to our Airbnb. We're in Seattle, by the way. <laughs> what's your pet peeve? Oh. Complacency when people are like really lazy. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. Uh, diamonds or pearls? Um, I don't really think either. I don't really wear diamonds. I don't really wear pearls. Not a big like flashy jewelry type of girl. You know what I mean? Not that pearls are flashy, but just like not into it. Yeah, yeah just not into it like that. What's something you notice about someone when you first meet them? I feel like their countenance, like whether they're like a Deep. joyful, bright person. I was looking for like the eyes or like skin or teeth, something like oh. that. But no, 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 that's period. Yeah, no, I <laughs> love that answer so much more. What's your biggest regret? My biggest regret? I don't know if I can share that on YouTube. That's one thing you guys don't know about me. Ooh, what my biggest regret. What's heavily played on your music playlist right now um let me look what's on my spotify i feel like um the a lot of maverick city music is always played heavily but the song oh Alyssa just sent me this song and it's so good it's called give me jesus by upper room and i think i listened to it the like whole entire flight here other than we were watching movies but period what's your favorite board game I don't like board games. What's your guilty pleasure? Mm, TikTok. <laughs> yep, that will get anybody. Yeah. What book did you most recently finish? I have like this really bad habit of starting books, but then like not finishing them. So that's kind of the issue. But the one that I most recently finished for the second time actually was a book called Always and Everything. And it's about giving thanks. Okay, what makes you feel accomplished? Just working like all the time, nonstop. Valid. Yeah. How do you start your day? Usually, I always am like getting a coffee, um, but I like showering in the morning. I think showering in the morning really just wakes you up, rejuvenates you, you know? Yeah. What's your favorite holiday? I think Christmas. Like, you just. That's like one time a year that like I know my whole family is going to be together. Um, yeah, I love Christmas. Are you more into looks or brains? I'm not really into anything right now. I just don't really <laughs> want to talk to anybody. Right. So. If you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? Ooh. I feel like I just want to switch lives with a guy just because I want to see how their brains work. Like, 100 I just that. really am so curious. Yeah. What's one thing you've wanted to try but you are too scared to do? I think shark diving, but I don't know that I'm too scared to do it. I might mm. do it at some point, but it is something that like I am really scared of, but I think I'm going to do it anyways. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. What's the one thing you wish you knew at 19? Well, it's like two years ago. <laughs> oh, I would just say, just be patient. I'm not a very patient person. Like I want things to happen like ASAP Rocky, you know? And I just need to be more patient. Besides your phone or wallet, what are must have purse items? Must have purse items, Aquaphor. I take my, I put my Aquaphor on like six times a day and it's partially because I was on Accutane so I literally had to use it all the time and partially because that's, no, that's actually the only reason that I, it's just my chapstick and I love it. So. If you were not living in Florida, where would you be living? <sighs> that's tough. I, I'd live like literally anywhere. I mean, that's not true. I feel like I'd love to spend some time like abroad, 
like maybe live in Italy, maybe live in Spain. I don't know. Fun. But I, I feel like I would also maybe enjoy living in LA for like not that long, literally for like a month. But I don't know. I'd live like anywhere for a little period of time. Yeah. Uh, if you're in a bad mood, do you prefer to be left alone or for someone to cheer you up? It depends on what kind of bad mood. Like if I'm sad, then I want to be left alone. But if I'm just like upset, then if somebody starts like cracking jokes, then that'll like put me in a good mood. Where was the best vacation you've ever taken? Um, probably Australia. That was a life changing one. Look at these tulips. <laughs> They're so cute. It's so cute. Airbnb. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Anyways. What's one city you've always dreamed of traveling to? Honolulu, Hawaii. Period. What's something you always travel with? Always travel with my computer to work wherever I am. What's your favorite food? Ooh, burgers. Favorite snack? Honestly, those chocolate covered strawberries that you put me on yesterday. What's a movie that made you cry? When I remember when I was younger and I watched Fall in Our Stars and I wept. I also did the same, exactly. Yeah, like, yep. like uncontrollably, really just, it did it to me. Are you confrontational? Um, it depends. Um, it's a person that really scares me that I just don't want to, I just, I can be confrontational when there needs to be a confrontation, but I don't, I'm not good at arguing. Like, I just don't like the whole, like, arguing. Like, I'm the type of person, if somebody starts arguing with me, I'll just be like, okay, cool, and just, like, stop talking. Because yeah. I don't want to go at it. What's the one talent you wish you had? I wish I could play instruments. Me too. I just don't feel like it. Mm. I don't feel like learning, but right. I feel like it'd be cool to play instruments. What's your favorite exercise? I love running. But also, I've been like into, there's like the whole hot girl walk thing right now. Have you seen all that? Yeah. Yeah, and like from like Hannah and Ellie, they like made that happen. And I love going on walks now. I go on walks like a few times a week at least. And, but I don't really do the like listening to playlist things. I kind of just like meditate on scripture and like pray. Okay, Christian girl. Which is like, it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's like the, Christian version of hot girl walks. A hundred percent. Just pray and spend time with the Lord. So, What's great. your favorite band? Honestly, Maverick City. Maverick okay, that's City a good music. one. Yeah. What's a superpower couch. that you wish you had? Um, I wish I could fly so I could just travel places more easily. That's super valid. Yeah. What's something you don't want to be doing as much in 10 years? Uh, probably traveling alone. <laughs> like, obviously I'm not alone right now, but I hope that I, like, get into a relationship at some point in my life. Right. Yeah, that'd be cool. What's the cutest thing on planet Earth? Next question. You're supposed to say me, but that's oh, okay. you. What's the... <laughs> okay, thanks. What's the best thing that happened this year, even though it just started? Oh, my, not that it happened this year, but my sister-in-laws are pregnant. So I'm going to have two little chicas, another two. I already have one nephew. But this year, I'm going to have three um, nieces or nephews. I actually don't know Good. what Claudio Maddie's is, but. Since you just turned 21, what's your favorite cocktail? Oh my gosh. Um, I actually don't know. I don't. <laughs> Drink. I don't drink very often. Like sometimes I'll get a drink when I go out to like dinner, but usually I just ask the um, waiter or waitress. The like I literally say like, "What's the sweetest drink on the menu that you won't be able to taste the alcohol?" And then I've usually, been a witness. Yeah, usually yeah. they give me that. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Which movie makes you laugh the hardest? What's the one that we watched the other day? We watched Spy, and that one was funny. A little bit inappropriate. Oh, yeah. Actually, very inappropriate. We had to close our eyes for like an entire scene. It. Yeah. it was really nasty, but it was really funny. What is your idea of perfect of a perfect vacation? 
um getting to like adventure go to a new place potentially going to a concert una and i literally that's why we're in seattle right now we just travel for concerts like it's just a little fun a little hobby thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite thing in the world you <laughs> good answer what's your favorite <laughs> right color answer. my favorite color honestly right now i'm really into like green i'm also liking purple it was brown but i feel like going into summer i'm liking the like colors you know right what I mean? well that goes to what color clothing do you wear most oh what color clothing do i wear most i mean i feel like probably wear everything like across the board yeah is like probably incorporated in all my outfits yeah but i wear like so many colors yeah what are three words to describe living in florida sunshine humidity mm. and beach okay period do you like surprises yes what's one thing you've had to learn the hard way to be patient <laughs> what's something you're tired of um hanging out with really large groups of people who do you turn to when you're sad i feel like sometimes my friends i'm working on going to the lord first when i'm sad but sometimes my immediate response is to talk to my close friends. What did you want to do with your life at 12? Uh, I have no idea. I probably like, I was a dancer at that point. So I was probably like, I'm going to be a ballerina when I grow up. Okay. I don't know. Well, that was kind of it. Oh, but, yeah. amazing. I just thought it would be a little fun activity. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was really fun. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah. Um, I'll see you out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> she just ran into the wall. Here's the. There you go. Have thanks. so much fun. Thanks, thanks for, for stopping by. Yeah, thanks, and thanks for catching for... me on the street. <laughs> oh I'm gonna fall everywhere. Thanks for you know answering everything. Yeah. No. Of course. Okay. I love you the really most. Yeah.